in healthcare, it is very important that professionals collaborate together. Occupational therapists are one of the professions that we collaborate closely with when working with individuals with communication and swallowing disorders. Colleagues from Denmark, Cyprus and Malta are going to show their appreciation towards their collaborative practice with OTs. The European Speech and Language Therapy Association, ESLA, wishes all occupational therapists a wonderful day on the occasion of World Occupational Therapy Day. Hello from the Association of Register Speech and Language Pathologists. Communication and cooperation between different healthcare professionals and the speech language therapists enable them to have a complete clinical image of the patient, leading a holistic and a patient focusing intervention, increasing the efficacy of the treatment plan. The therapist sets common aims and accepts the progress of the patient. Speech and language therapists and occupational therapists are two healthcare professional groups that are working together and in cooperation achieve the desired outcome. Speech therapists and occupational therapists, they are team workers. My name is Nicole and I'm a speech language pathologist working in a pediatric private clinic in Malta. I liaise with my occupational therapy colleagues on a daily basis as they target sensory integration therapy as well as fine and gross motor skills. I love learning behavioural methods from the OTs as they help me to implement sensory activities into my sessions in order to increase my client's attention and sitting tolerance while working on our goals. We also work together on sensory language and social groups as well as on picking up problematic readers, myself from an oromotor aspect and the OTs from a sensory behaviour aspect. I find myself extremely lucky to be working in such a setting, helping the OTs maximise language use and exposure in their goals and learning to incorporate sensory and motor activities in mine. Due to the close relationships of motor functioning, language skills and self-care skills, the collaboration between occupational therapists and speech and language pathologists is crucial for patients with language and communication impairment and feeding and swallowing disabilities. I work in a pediatric setting and have a close collaboration with the occupational therapist at my workplace. We collaborate when assessing and planning treatment for kids who have sensory or behavioral issues. We collaborate closely when we are providing therapy for kids who have motor speech disorders like dysarthria and child hypraxia of speech. We work very closely with each other when we are planning treatment for our patients. I integrate some occupational therapy activities into my therapy sessions while the occupational therapist consults with me uh, when planning her own therapies because she wants to integrate some speech and language activities into her treatment sessions. I really appreciate our collaboration because it's so inspiring for me to see how the occupational therapists, therapist approaches the challenges that our clients face from a different view. I really want to thank every occupational therapist for their willingness and interest in collaborating with speech and language pathologists, and I hope that we can develop this collaboration further in future. Thank you so much.